hello there welcome to another episode of she likes cars in the last episode i did a very interesting car feature on these suzuki sears in this episode oh wait let me set the foundation for this episode now i have a general license which means i can drive stick shift right that's what i learned on however since i've gotten the license i've been only driving automatic vehicles and i thought it prudent to just refresh my memory on how to drive a stick shift vehicle and so today i have my colleague and team member chad from the civic society who will be refreshing my memory on how to drive a stick shift vehicle let's go everyone let me introduce you to chad from civic society chad please introduce yourself to my viewers hi guys i am chad i drive a 2011 honda civic left on drive stick shift a little bit of performance mod so i get a little bit of speed here and there you know great so thanks for having thanks for coming on the show chad um so you will basically be refreshing my memory about how to drive a stick shift vehicle today yes great so where do i start all right. Firstly, you want to start. You want to have comfort in, mm -hmm. in, in maneuvering the clutch, right? Mm -hmm. The pedals are in with the right on or left one. The clutch remains always on your left foot. So you have the clutch, brake, gas. Clutch, brake, gas, right? And it's yeah, and, and that's that. standard for all vehicles, whether right or left, mm -hmm. left on drive. That is. Mm -hmm. So firstly, you want to sink the clutch to the board. To the, so you want to adjust your seat. If you find that you cannot sink, you have to adjust your seat. So when okay. you sink it, when it's fully sink the clutch now, you want a little play in your knee. So when you ease off the clutch, you can feel that by and not jump all the way up. So you can control it, so you pull it. If there's no play in your, in your knee, when you ease up, you can fully jump off of the clutch. Okay, I think I have play in my knee. Alright, sure. You don't want to carry it up no more, are you? You think I need to? <laughs> no, it's As in bring my seat you. forward? Yes, yeah, it's, it's up to you. Alright, so you're comfortable? Yeah, I'm comfortable. <laughs> All right, so you want to sink the brake now, right? Do so you know where the gears are? Yes. Yeah, pull this in the clutch. <laughs> so, so you yeah, have one, one, two, two come back to the three, four, come straight across, five, come back to the and reverses all the way back there. Down. Yeah, but that's not my truck That's person. not reverse. A lot of mercy then is what is what the alpha. No, you went in four though. I went in four. <laughs> so you have to go all the way back, all the way. Reverse. Reverse. Okay. Okay. So would I be able to do that if I'm not sinking the clutch? If the car is not started. Oh, only if the car is not started. Okay, but if the car is on, I can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in um, in more um. Advanced drivers, when you're driving yourself, you can you can change the gears without using the clutch. Oh, we're not for that stage yet. Okay, okay, understood. All right, so the first thing you want to know where the the, the, the clutch we call it the clutch belt, the clutch engagement points. Okay. So when you see here, you will have to put it in here. First One. gear. Yeah. Oh shit. Sink clutch. Oh. Okay. So now you gently ease off the clutch now. That's why you want to play in the knee. Feel the change in the vehicle now. Mm -hmm. So that's the clutch engagement point. If you, you see that it, trembling you, feeling. Yeah. yeah, I remember that trembling feeling. Alright, so it's coming back. Right? So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you want you want to sink the brake now. Alright, release the hand brake. Gently, gently release the brake now. Ooh. <laughs> you like? So then I release the brake Ooh. and the car will move forward. Release the brake. Release the brake. Oh. All right. Gently ease off. Gently. Don't ease. You don't need a brake. Oh. All right. Gently ease off the clutch now. Really? Yes. Gently ease off the clutch. Mm -hmm. Pull it up. Mm -hmm. No. Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> gently ease okay. off. Pull it up. 
release it to get put off it. Mm-hmm. Put it off the clutch. Mm -hmm. Alright, so no rear driver. So that's first gear. Okay. So you want to change gears now, right? Mm-hmm. So now you'd sing about the clutch. He's up the break. Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Alright, you'd have to carry up the RPMs a little bit, but now you'd go into second. Carry up the, the clutch a bit? The no. RPMs, but that, that's fine. That's it. Revolution. It's way down now, and the clutch is way down. Yeah, see, so come back to neutral. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then go to go into second gear. You take too long, so the car stop. So you move off now. Problem, so I can go back in a one. Yeah. You can move off in second, however, but you'd have to carry the RPM. The RPM is the rev on the engine. So the gauge here will show you the RPM. So right now you're doing 1500 RPMs. Uh -huh. Alright. Make a lot here and turn around. Like, so I go, use a pocket clutch, use a pocket clutch. I'm afraid. Let's ease up more. Ease up off the clutch. Let's let's let it tire. Okay. Ease up off the clutch. Did you guess so? Uh huh. Oh, I was going to catch a steer now. I remember you're a driver. Pull it off the clutch. Uh huh. First, you put aside the clutch. Uh -huh. Alright, did you guess now? Alright, you looking yes? You looking yes? Yeah, you're driving our one. Alright, no, so sing the clutch now. Oh, but I made the car go to a stop. Yeah, sing the clutch. And then neutral, second. Oh. Sink it, second. Alright, gently ease off the clutch now. Gently, you took a little gas while they're easing off. Oh, what? Lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely. <laughs> Alright, so go around there in second, keep the big ass, go around there. Alright. So we are going to turn. Go on, keep the big ass. So we are going to some gas out. Sink the clutch. New chalk. Trip it forward. Ease, gently ease up a little bit of gas. He's off, he's off the clutch. Nice! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, slow down a bit here. Alright, so you have to sing the clutch uh -huh. and you go back to second. Second, you go back. Alright, you just off the clutch a little bit of gas. Am I doing well here? Yeah? Am I doing well? Or yes, you're doing good. You actually haven't started yet. <sighs> Okay. Keep a little bit of gas, go back to third. Uh huh. Keep a little gas, third, sink the clutch. He's off, a little bit of gas. Slow down, sink the clutch, second. Ooh. Good, keep a little gas. Oops, sorry. <laughs> So that's when he, that happened because it didn't fully ease off. Yeah, I didn't fully ease off. I don't think I'll get to go to four in here. You can actually. Yeah, that's when I get more extra. Alright, so third. Fourth, sink it, go for it. No, 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 I can't go for it. <laughs> Alright, so 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I realized I geared down when I'm turning. So yeah, the, the, the gears actually controls the, 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 the car. Mm -hmm. I hate that beeping sound, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So the gears control the car, compression, right? So you want to control the engine, you want to bring down the engine. Mm -hmm. right? So compression will bring down the engine so, so you can actually stop without using the brakes. Okay. Alright. So and then there's two ways the compression works. Alright, so if you want like you want to go fast, alright? Mm -hmm. You use the lower gears to build up compression with the engine. Oh. So you get more power out of the engine. So when you when you like watch the, 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 the car racing and you see the tire spin and you use one gear to do that. So that's cause the revolution. What is it? The tire the Moving faster than how the car is moving, right? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Just don't get used to that. Used to that. Okay. Oh, I hate it. Like okay, clutch. the clutch, the clutch, right? You see, I'm afraid to just like let it go like that because then I'm probably gonna stall. <laughs> Alright. In, mo in motion, it won't stall like that. So oh. you just it gently ease off the clutch. This isn't so bad though, like when I heard I was going to do this, like I was like, oh my god. Yeah, and, I, and you know, from I was learning, I hated stalling, like that was just a total embarrassment to me. It's just water learning. There's another part in driving this, so it's called the, 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 the hill start. Oh the lord. Hill but you have to have a hill to do a hill start? Well, yes, yeah, guy, you'd have to like. Chile, but I can teach you how to do this without uh, without. Okay, so yet. where do you want me to go first to do it, or can I use it? I'm just I just pull over anywhere. No, okay, just pull over anywhere. Sure. Okay, okay let's stop here. If you're on a hill, right? On a hill, mm-hmm. So you leave vehicles in drive. Mm-hmm. You just ease off the grip and mm -hmm. you should gently roll forward. Oh, okay. Okay. If it rolls back, I always wonder said, how the cars never ever roll back on a hill. Yeah, that's the transmission. Oh. Okay. So if it rolls back, that means the uh, transmission is going. Mm. So that's that's the early signs that your transmission is going. Okay. If the okay. car loses power up the hill, mm -hmm. that's another sign that your transmission is going. Okay. Alright, so you have to fully sing the clutch. Mm -hmm. Open gear, first gear. Good. So now you are trembling for the engage. <laughs> Do it. Alright. So now when you reach it, so now you quickly just ease off the brake and give it a little gas. Give it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a slow motion. I'm a slow motion. So. After you fast? Yeah, you have to do a little bit of a little bit of effort. Oh. Yeah. Is there anything with a handbrake with this thing? Yes, there is also that. Because I remember learning something like that with a handbrake or yeah, something. That, like. Yeah, that's the print. So you just stop now, right? Oh, so I was apprentice at the time. Yeah, yeah we're clearly. Uh, <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I'm turning off lights so you can see the dashboard a little bit better. So what I normally do now, you have now one gear, pull up the handbrake, so you don't look at the brake, because the handbrake could go hold in the car. Mm -hmm. So you don't give it, you don't put, you don't carry the RPMs up to 1500 RPMs. What's 1500 RPMs? Where's 1500? Alright, so the RPMs is times, so this is 1000, this times 1000, right? Uh, oh, so in the middle of the one and the two? Yes, yeah, so that's 1500. Oh, okay. Alright. 
say that carried up to 1500 RPM. Yeah, hold it there. And then, oh, yeah, because I remember him always saying, hold it steady. Mm -hmm. you know, feel the trembling part of the, of the uh -oh. chair, the change. <laughs> carried up, you feel the change. Listen, this is like playing the damn drums. You have to manage yeah. what this foot is doing. Release the handbrake now. Release. <laughs> God, guys, I stalled a while ago. Alright, <laughs> yeah, so just sing the clutch and start. You know, if you sing the clutch, you can just start. Oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you there again? My well, foot, I'm tired. Can you just start? <sighs> Alright, so, so the car is in gear. Mm -hmm. So you want to land brake is up. Mm -hmm. Good. So you want to carry up the RPMs to 1500 RPMs. Look at the brake, because I hold the car, 1500 RPM. Oh, 1500? Yeah. Listen, I don't drive in shoes, look, I'm going to them heavy as hell. Alright, so now, feel the trembling part. That's where I'm going to start. Just feel the trembling part. You see, once I start moving the left foot, the right foot just turn <laughs> idiot. Alright, so hold on for the brake now. Yeah, but I'm not at 1500, wait, 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 wait. Oh, carry it up. Oh shit, this is hard as hell guys. This is hard guys. <laughs> Real hard for me. Right. This, this Engagement point. point. Wait, Chad, wait. Oh, no, me... Engagement point no. Oh. Engagement, release that bird. Oh. Alright, release that. Engagement, release that bird. Reversing. Alright. Is it the same thing? 
basically it's the same thing but normally how we, how, how we tend to reverse is we tend to tease the clutch and guess at the same time Whereas it can be done in the same is in the same fashion right see where is because where is where I just did to me you can see I can see all right so you can use the same method of reversing sink in, sink in the clutch and reverse Good. so now we gently ease off of where Gently release the clutch and the vehicle shall move the road back. And you just keep it, you just keep it at that point. Hold on, show you. Basically, yeah, you just there are other points too, but yeah, no. for the purpose of this, yeah. we're good with that, right? Yeah, good. Yes, okay, okay. So, if I park in the car now, neutral, mm -hmm. neutral, handbrake up, handbrake up, you can release the clutch, release the clutch, yeah. and shut, re shut off the vehicle, release the brakes, and then just shut off. Shut off the vehicle. Okay. It, it is, um. Normally we tend to when we are park we put it in first gear. Oh. Yeah, so first gear is like like when you put your vehicle in park. Mm -hmm. So first gear is our, our park or we put it in reverse it in 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 all the park. So if we are park facing up the hill, put it in first gear. Right, so it doesn't run back as soon as they start the vehicle? No, not no? really. So if you, if the if the handbrake should fail, the the, the first gear actually. Like oh, Okay, so it's like a backup kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, but if you're parked facing down the hill, put, put you put it in reverse. reverse. Okay, great. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Thank you, Chad. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good, guys. I stall once though on the hill start kind of thing, but I'm accustomed to that. Like, it's a refresher. I'm rem I remember stalling. I remember stalling <laughs> when I was learning the whole hill start thing. You know, I did hate when I learned to drive parallel parking. He'll start and parallel parking, okay? Okay, but anyways. And what if you have to reverse and parallel park at the same time? Lord of mercy. Me, 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 no, no, me can't but I, I guess I chose automatic vehicles for a reason, but this was pretty good. So I guess when 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 when, when I roll out and think for car shows and some I feel refresh, you know, go and refresh, refresh, refresh. I guess it's it's true that it's a bit more engaging. You know, you know, just press gas and brakes, but you have to listen to the engine and when you have to change gears and you know, clutch and what you said the word is when you bring up the clutch and it fully release the or trembling, the engagement, the engagement point and all of those things. We Jamaicans call it clutch bite. Clutch bite. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I learned Wally Patting is clutch bite or the engagement point. So it's, it's, it's three sections of the shot when it's fully sink. Fully sunken, the, the engagement point, point or released. the clutch bite, and when it's fully released. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Chad. I You're really welcome. appreciate it. I really appreciate you taking the time out. I really appreciate you allowing me to stall your car. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really learned a lot. Thank you so much. This was really good. Oh. All right, guys. Uh, so I just finished my stick shift refresher. It was really, really good. Thank you so much again, Chad. And stay tuned for the next episode, yeah? Next episode. Please. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. Tell me what else you want me to do on the, you know, on the thing, on the show. And yeah, big up on yourself. Stay safe, yeah? All right, now, Chad.